Where do we actually get vitamin B1? Well, it's important to note that almost all foods contain at least some vitamin B1, but the foods with the highest amount of vitamin B1 include chicken, pork, soybean, nuts, brown rice, peas, whole grains, and other fortified grains like cereals. So some grains have actually had vitamin B1 added to them. So you get extra vitamin B1 content from those fortified grains. How do people get deficient in vitamin B1? A lot of foods have vitamin B1. So essentially a poor dietary intake, and when I say poor dietary intake, I mean a very, very poor dietary intake is often required for vitamin B1 deficiency. So we can see this in chronic alcoholism. So individuals with chronic alcoholism oftentimes don't eat a whole lot, and they may also be having an increased loss of vitamin B1 from the renal system. Malnutrition. So individuals who don't eat much at all can find themselves deficient in vitamin B1. Excessive fasting and starvation. This ties in with the same concept not eating much at all can lead to vitamin B1 deficiency, especially because vitamin B1 only has short-term storage and anorexia nervosa. So individuals who, again, aren't eating enough for the dietary requirement of vitamin B1. A second category of causes of vitamin B1 deficiency include decreased absorption. So where we see decreased absorption oftentimes is in gastrointestinal or GI surgery. So if large portions of the gastrointestinal tract have been removed, this can lead to a decreased ability to absorb vitamin B1. We can also see it in certain chronic gastrointestinal diseases as well. Another category of causes of vitamin B1 deficiency includes increased utilization. So one of them is actually excess carbohydrate ingestion. So individuals who are consuming a high, high level of carbohydrates oftentimes require more vitamin B1 than others because they're using that vitamin B1 as cofactors to actually metabolize that extra load of carbohydrates. So that's one of the causes of increased utilization. Another one is pregnancy. So in pregnancy, there are increased energy demands. And as we talked about before, this is oftentimes utilized for energy metabolism. So that's why we talked about requiring more vitamin B1 in pregnancy than other non-pregnant individuals. And another cause in the increased utilization category is systemic malignancy. So in systemic malignancy, if there are a lot of cancer burden, these cancer cells can actually start to utilize more and more and more vitamin B1 for their own purposes. So we actually can see a vitamin B1 deficiency in individuals with systemic malignancy. And the fourth category of causes of vitamin B1 deficiency include increased losses. Hyperemesis, so increased frequency of Vomiting can also lead to a vitamin B1 deficiency. Chronic diarrhea can also lead to vitamin B1 deficiency. So essentially, you're not able to absorb the vitamin B1. It's leaving the gastrointestinal tract before you're able to absorb it. Increased renal excretion. So even though vitamin B1 is normally excreted in the renal system, taking excess amounts of diuretics can lead to losses of vitamin B1 deficiency. We can also see this with chronic alcoholism as well due to similar reasons. We can also see increased losses with AIDS patients, and we can also see increased losses with hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis patients. So hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis can actually lead to a loss of vitamin B1. So again, poor dietary intake, so not getting enough in your diet, decreased absorption of that vitamin B1, increased utilization, and increased losses are all causes of vitamin B1 deficiency. So this is not all the causes of vitamin B1 deficiency, but gives you a good framework as to determining what the cause might be.